video I'm going to be comparing the Skywatcher HEQ5 Pro mount with the Skywatcher EQ6R Pro mount. Now although these two mounts do basically the same job, there are some key differences that it's important to understand. And if you're looking to get a new mount or your first mount, this video may be helpful for you. The main difference between these two mounts is payload capacity. The HEQ5 Pro mount can carry 13.6 kilograms of payload or 30 pounds, that's excluding the counterweights. And the EQ6R Pro can carry 20 kilograms or 44 pounds of payload. They have a different dovetail clamp at the top. The HEQ5 has a Vixen dovetail clamp and the two knobs on it actually poke through the clamp and they will make small indentations on your, on your Vixen dovetail every time you use it. The EQ6R Pro has a Vixen and Losmandy compatible clamp and it's a true clamp so it actually moves a plate so that there's no indentation or marking of your dovetail. The knobs on the clamp are also significantly larger than they are on the HEQ5. Now these two mounts have a significantly different price as you'd expect. The HEQ5 retails currently in the UK uh, for £999 or if you want the row and belt modification uh, which makes the mount run significantly smoother and quieter that price increases to £1169. The EQ6R Pro retails currently for £1,449, uh, so significantly more expensive, but you get that bigger payload capacity for your money. Now, one thing which may be a consideration for you is the weight of the head. Clearly, the, the mount head on the EQ6R Pro is significantly larger and hence heavier than on the HEQ5. The head on the HEQ5 weighs 10 kilos or 22 pounds, and the head on the EQ6R Pro weighs 17.3 kilos or 38.1 pounds. But of course the EQ6R Pro has this really excellent and robust handle built into the design which does make it a lot easier to lift when you're taking it on and off the tripod. That does uh, serve to effectively narrow the gap a bit but if you have a bad back and the weight is a problem for you then uh, clearly make your, your decision based on that information. I thought it would also be useful to measure the power consumption of these two mounts my expectation was that the larger mount would consume more power, but actually uh, this uh, gave me a bit of a surprise. So I did some measurements when sidereal tracking, uh, carrying the Newtonian setup that you see here, which weighs 11 kilos. And I found that the HEQ5 drew 9.4 watts from the supply, uh, and the uh, EQ6R Pro only drew 7.4 watts, so it's actually a lower power consumption than the small amount, so that was interesting. I also thought I would measure at the same time the peak current drawn by each of these two mounts which is useful when you're working out the current rating you need on your 12 volt supply in your setup. The HEQ5 when slewing at rate 9 on both DEC and RA at the same time with this 11 kilogram payload draws 1.14 amps from the 12 volt supply and with the same payload and slewing, uh, again, slewing at rate 9 on RA and DEC, the EQ6R Pro draws 2.1 amps. So 1.14 amps and 2.1 amps. So those are the key differences. The hand controllers and the way they work are identical. Uh, the azimuth and altitude bolts are significantly larger. The whole mechanism is significantly larger on the EQ6R Pro because it's carrying that heavier weight. So you've got larger knobs and a, a bigger, more robust uh, ratchet adjustment for the altitude, significantly smaller on the HEQ5. The clutch uh, levers which are around the back are actually uh, exactly the same on the two mounts. The counterweight bar uh, has an extension piece on it on the EQ6R Pro, so if you prefer to have fewer counterweights and put them further down the bar rather than having more counterweights higher up the bar, you've got that choice. If you're carrying a lighter payload like this and you need two counterweights, uh, you actually don't need the extension on there at all and you can just remove it. So those are the key differences between these two mounts. Hopefully that's going to be helpful for you in making your decisions. If you've enjoyed my videos and you're not subscribed, I'd really appreciate a subscription. Hit that like button, let me know that you like the video and please give me any comments in the feedback. I really appreciate the comments that I get. And uh, also, if you want to be no notified of future videos, please also remember to click on that bell icon uh, to get notified when I release the next video. That's it for now. Clear skies and see you again.